Welcome to EDU World Space. In this problem, we have a cable that is supported at two of its ends. Well, it's basically a, base, a bunch of ropes connected with rings. Um, and we're assuming that these ropes have no uh, weight. So they um, are lines between the rings. There are, we have point A, B, C, D, and E. At point B, we have an external load. And we have the same, uh, we have an equivalent load acting at point D, and then at point C we have a different uh, load with a different magnitude. So we we take, if we look at this free body diagram as a whole, well first we can write position vectors to all of our points, and I'm going to use, um, see I should maybe, I'm going to use point A as my origin. So we have Point to point B is three units, <coughs> three meters in the x direction, and some unknown uh, distance in the y. We know the exact position of point C here. We know the x position of point D, but not the y. And then we know the exact position of the support on the right end. And we're gonna we're asked to find these two values given some uh, values for these loads here. So if we take the entire structure. Or the entire cable here you can see that we have our balance of forces gives us this and we'll get two equations from there one of the equations will just say f e x must be minus f a x and then we can take moments about point a so we get a moment from this load a moment from this load and a moment from this load and a moment from this load and we can set that equal to some of those equal to zero and that will give us another equation um, for the moment out of out of plane. Now we can take a look at some segments of this uh, this table. And in this case, I'm going to look at this segment here. Basically, take a cut there, and so that exposes this force FBC. Now FBC has a magnitude of FBC and is in the direction from uh, the unit vector from B to C. Now we can figure this out because we can figure out what the vector from B to C is and then we can formalize it. Um, and we can figure that out by knowing the vector from A to B and A to C. So this, this is, uh, well, not known, but it is a function of our unknown variable here. So this sum of these forces has to be zero. And then the mo I'm gonna take moments about point C here. So there's no moment created by FBC because it acts through point C. There's a moment, but there is a moment created by, by this force, which actually is the opposite of, is the negative of this force here. Um, and so we have the moment created by that force, and then the p vector from C to A, which is just minus the vector from A to C. This will give us another three equations. Um, some of one of them is is redundant, but we can then get, extract the information for uh, at least the first part of the problem, and that is that we get y b this distance from the see this distance here is minus or is 2.22 meters we can also figure out what the the nor um the horizontal load at each of these supports is and that is 1130 newtons and then the interior load in the cable from in the rope from b to c is 1180 newtons so to find yd we can look at a Take another section and now we're going to take a cut here and just look at this free body diagram that free body diagram we have p2 f e and f c d acting f c d is again has a magnitude and is in the direction from c to d and we can figure that out um, in terms of our, our in terms of our uh, position vectors and then I'm going to take moments about point C again. So now at this point, we have no moment from FCD. We have a moment from this, 
and a moment from this load. So those are these two here. And we set the sum of those to zero. And we'll get some more equations. And with those equations, we can figure out that yd is 1.55 meters. So that is this distance here. We can also figure out that FCD is, um, well, it has a magnitude of 1,220 newtons. So um, it is from, it is in this direction. So again, it, it's in tension, just the way we, we, we drew it. Um, I actually should have used FDC um, here. And that would have shown that it was positive. Um, but anyway, that that gives us the the answer that we're looking for. Um, I could have also said F F C D is just minus oops, F C D equals minus F D C. I could should have put a minus sign in there. And in fact, let me do that. Let me just correct. It should have been a minus sign, and this should have been, um, uh, well, we can leave it that as it is, because the unit vector from D to C is just the opposite. It's, that's the negative of the unit vector from C to D. Okay, so we got that. Now we can, in problem 95, which ha looks at the same system, we're basically just given um, different knowns and different unknowns. And in this case, we have, we want the magnitude of, we want the magnitude of this load if YB, this value here, is 3 meters. So in this case, we want the magnitude of this load and then also, again, this sag here. So that, we get basically just go through the exact same analysis, but now we have a different unknown and a different knowns. So now if we plug in YB is 3 meters, we'll find that P1 is 720 newtons in the um, in the negative y direction. And then also that yd is 2.33 meters now. So instead, we can see that it's, it's sag quite a bit more. Now, the loads in the, and again, I should put... Um, I should uh, fix the sign here. This should be plus. Um, the loads in the in the interior cables are now 775, uh, 747 newtons in the cable from C to D, and 730 newtons from the in the cable from uh, B to C.